Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a slideshow to your app. And right here, I've got the demo up and running. And basically, what you can do on here is we've got these little buttons so we can scroll through forward or backwards. We can let it run automatically here like this. It's just sliding through the different pictures. And then also you can put your cursor over the picture and that'll pause it. And then if you move your cursor off, it'll start going again. And also on this, I've got uh, titles uh, to the pictures as well added. So let's go and jump into the design here. And for this, you're going to need a plugin. And it's the Slick Slideshow plugin. So you want to install that. It is free. Uh, so you can simply install that. The other thing is that uh, for this, I actually uh, created a new uh, data type, and it's called Slideshow. And within Slideshow, I have uh, pictures, and that's of type image, and then title, uh, which is of type text. So it's kind of a simple data structure to support this. And then from a workflow, there's actually no workflows. And with the design, I've actually got three elements on here. I have the actual slideshow A, and I have a text, and then a group to keep those two elements together, uh, just from a formatting perspective. Now let's go to the slideshow A. So basically on this, uh, you, you simply Come over here and it's slideshow and then you just add it on to your to your app now for this there's a couple of things to to set up so on this here the the default is to upload each image now for this since I have a data structure um, already created uh, it's going to be using the dynamic list uh, so you could do the uh, upload each image but uh, it's probably not what you want to do you probably want to have preloaded uh, uh, images to use for your slideshow. Then the image type, type of image, is um, going to be slideshow, in my case, in this uh, demo. And then the data source, it's going to be a search for slideshows. So it's basically empty at first, and then search for slideshows and slideshow. Now, I don't have any constraints on there. It's a pretty simple design. But if you had different users uh, in your app and they had different pictures for their slideshow, you may want to add a constraint on here for that particular uh, user um, so that in your data you might actually have, it'll have the creator in there. So you may have something in your search that um, created by equals current user for instance. So that way you can filter on different users in your app showing only the pictures that are relevant to them. The image field type, so in the data structure there's pictures and there's title, so I want to show the images which are pictures. And then you have run mode, rendering, rescale, or stretch. So stretch can distort the pictures, um, and I'll show, actually let me go in and do that real quick here, so you can you can see what that does to the picture. So these are undistorted pictures. And you could see with the, um, the other choice, it kind of stretches these pictures and distorts them a little bit. So I'm just going to put this back to rescale like that. And then basically all the other defaults, um, I I'm, I'm more or less uh, leave alone. Um, so slide instead of fade, that's just the default, the speed. Um, autoplay, so autoplay when page loads, you want this to automatically start uh, playing. Uh, pause on hover, so that's basically when you have your mouse over the picture, it'll pause. Um, so navigation dots and the button, so that's basically these down here. So you can kind of see what that does with the button. So it's, it's you've got some uh, capability to tweak the user experience. Um, so it's, it's really up to you. Now the other thing I want to show on here is slideshow this text field. So it's slideshow A's 
slideshow A's current slides title. Okay, so basically that's just going to show for the current uh, slide what the title is. And so that's kind of nice to have on there uh, to show, you know, if you have family pictures or vacation pictures, whatever it may be, and you want to add a title uh, so that people know, you know, what birthday party it was or when the birthday party was or a vacation trip, you can add that as a, as a title. And that's basically all there is to, to setting this up. Again, I put it into a group here um, just to tie the text field and the uh, slideshow element together. Uh, you don't need to do that. Um, that's basically it. Let me go and do a refresh here. Now, let's say that you were uh, advertising or you wanted to advertise different um, school plays, for instance. You could, instead of having pictures here, you could actually have a little uh, promo uh, page uh, on here and you could have the title but you could also add a URL on here so that when you, the user clicks on the URL a new page opens and then that would have more information on whatever play um, that was going on so to do that you would simply come over here and in addition to pictures and title you would have another you know, field on here call it URL type text like that and then you would go and you would um, have it so that when you create the new pictures, um, you could add the URL in there as well. So that, I'm um, gonna do another refresh on here. So what you would see on here is in addition to garage, you could have URL um, or click here for more information. And when the user clicks on it, it would open up a, a new site. Uh, one other comment, um, when I created this demo and the data on here, I actually went and manually uploaded the, the data. So uh, slideshows here. So I went and I manually created by new, new, uh, new entry here, new database entry and so forth. I, um, I do have another video and I'll put the link for that down below in the comments so that you can see the video on how to create um, your own data manually. And that's basically the design on how to add a slideshow. Uh, you can, again, do some other creative things with it if you wanted to put ads on here with a URL and then your users can click on that and opens up another page and so forth. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like the video, I do appreciate the thumbs up. If you subscribe to my channel, I do have uh, some upcoming videos that I'm in the process of creating. Uh, so if you subscribe, you will get notified from YouTube on those.